Hey guys, it's Friday. We're about to take Tegan to the nanny's house for his typical Friday morning, but I want to show you this. Apparently yesterday after the mailman came, he had a package and he brought it up to the door. Obviously he was whipping down our driveway and didn't realize it was a little slippery. You can see where he skidded off right into the side here. and Ben didn't see anything from the living room window. I didn't, I don't know if it was, you know, like when Tegan was going to the bathroom or something, I don't know. It must have been, I would have thought you would have heard or seen yeah, something. I probably, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Because they, they really, that little mail truck, it's like one of those little box van type mail trucks. Like the traditional. Yeah, and they really whip down the hill after they drop off the mail, like I'm getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> And obviously, yes, I didn't realize it was a little slick underneath the snow. Yeah. I came home from my haircut and I go, gee, Ben didn't mention sliding off the driveway. Then I realized it must have been the mailman. <laughs> it wasn't me. He's been meaning to do this for a few days now, but Ben is finally putting on the Sleeping Beauty light switch cover down here in the office next yeah. to her computer desk. It's a little bit smaller than the old one, but it's okay. Yay! I'm so excited! I need another one for the other light switch. Well, we should have scooped him up at I the know. closing video store. I know. But we were trying to be polite. Even though they probably all ended up in a dumpster after the day after they closed. Probably. There we go! Yay! I love it! So exciting. I have to say, my haircut looks pretty good, wouldn't you, Ben? Yep, looks the same as it does every time you get your haircut. Anyway, we just dropped Tegan off. I don't know what we're gonna do this afternoon. We wanted to see Rogue One, but yesterday was the last day Rogue One was playing in our local theater. Doggy. Run, doggy, run. I don't know if his head even came out. I don't know. There's a dog that just came running out down the road. He, he plowed through the stop sign. <laughs> he didn't, he didn't even stop. stop. <laughs> he just kept going. So Rogue One is still playing if we drove all the way to like South Portland. I don't think we have time for that. Okay guys, Rogue One is still playing in the Auburn Cinema, the Auburn Main Cinema. So we have a couple more days to see it, but I was hoping to see it in the local cinema because they have the comfy seats. Auburn still has like the... Uncomfortable. Yeah, the um, uncomfy. in yeah. like, airplane airplane seats and you know at this point Rogue One's probably in the broom closet theater yep. because we're like the last people on the planet to see Rogue One. We miss Moana. I don't want to miss Rogue One. But in Oxford they're playing Triple X the return of Xander. What? It's a, I don't even know what that is. It's a it's the third movie for Triple X because they had a second one in it. I don't even think I saw the. I don't think I saw X one. No, <laughs> Triple X three. <laughs> That's the one with uh, with um, uh, oh I forget her name. She comes. It comes to Phoenix, right? No, not X Men. <laughs> No, Triple X was a like a high adrenaline like um uh The road is so rough here like boom, 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 I know, boom, I know. Boom. It's YouTube's gonna go, your video's shaky. We've detected your video <laughs> being shaky. So anyway, it starred Vin Diesel. Yes, it stars Vin Diesel. In the first one, Vin Diesel basically gets recruited to work for CIA or the some you know one of those you know government places and then they have to go th he has to go through and do all of these jobs for them so that he doesn't go to jail because he would have he would get arrested for doing some of his stunts that he would do like basically on like a YouTube channel but before this was before they had YouTube but same idea huh. so anyway they came out with a third one and being diesels in the third one he wasn't in the second one so he was in the first one. Yes. Wasn't in the second one, but nope. now he's returned for the third one. Yes. In between his role as Groot and in Fast and Furious, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. There's a new Fast and Furious coming out apparently this year. Yeah. There is. I don't remember what it's called anymore, but... It's like that, uh, eight, right? So... <laughs> I don't fate, know what... Fate. I don't know furious. what it is. 
I don't know, but that, that could have been it. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I know the rocks in it. <laughs> so no Rogue One today. But the fact that it's still playing in the Auburn Cinema is a good sign that it's going to be there at least until next Thursday. So, I'm determined to see this in the theater. Like, we, it's bad enough we missed Moana and Doctor Strange and probably ten other movies <laughs> that I wanted to see. But we have decided to see a movie today. Ben wants her Vin Diesel kick. Yeah. I think Vin Diesel must be in the top ten right behind uh, The Rock. He's right behind The Rock. There's The Rock and then there's Vin Diesel. Known for such roles as Groot. Yeah. And the Iron Giant. Yep. <laughs> and Xander Cage in Triple X. And that's what we're gonna go see. Vin Diesel as Xander Cage in The Return of Xander Cage. Yeah. I don't think I've seen any of these Triple X movies, so hopefully this movie, you won't, since it's been like what, like 15 years since the yeah. last one? Yeah. Or at least 10 years. 15, well okay, so the first one that I Okay, here's a brief history of the Triple X movies. <laughs> okay, so the first Triple X movie, the one with Vin Diesel, came out in 2002. So I was a sophomore in college at that point. Okay. And then the second Triple X movie did not star Vin Diesel, it starred Ice Cube. And that one came out in 2005. Okay. And then there has not been another Triple X until right now. So they probably said, we, we're not going to do another one unless uh, Vin Diesel comes back. Probably. We need Xander. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. Uh, stay tuned for our <laughs> Ben and John movie review. The Lego Batman movie is coming out I too. Know. So we're going to have to see. Tegan is going to want to see that. We're going to have to bring him to that. Yeah. He loves, loves Lego movies. I haven't had any soda this entire month. <laughs> that is going to change today because they have the self-serve soda machine. And it's cheaper than getting a bottle of water, and I can and I can guzzle <laughs> guzzle my money's worth yeah, you of caffeine-free diet Pepsi. <laughs> so we're back from the movie. Look for a review in a few minutes. But Ben got one of our last Christmas presents. I'm so excited about this. You're gonna have to tell everybody what exactly it is when you open it. I will. I'm so excited, you guys. I've been waiting for this. I've been bugging John like every day since Christmas. I think, have you gotten the shipping? Have you got the shipping? Have you got the shipping? <laughs> it's a sweatshirt. Da, 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 da. Da, da. I love it! Now, what does this, what does this mean exactly? <laughs> so, this is actually part of the Supernatural group, so the three main characters of Supernatural, Dan, Dan, <laughs> Dean, Sam, and Castiel. In real life, they are, they have this group um, where they raise money for charities and stuff for doing good for other people. And um, this is to support their charity of spreading the love So you want to try it on? Yes! See, it even says, see, SPN family. Values on the E. Yes. I couldn't see that part, but yeah. Isn't that exciting? Okay. Looking good. It's my new favorite sweatshirt. I love it. I kind of wish I got you a t-shirt too, so you would have yeah. had one for the summertime. There, I have it on my Facebook page. Spread the love campaign. It was over the holidays. They sold like a gazillion shirts. Yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So in the email today, guys, we got an invite to Hasbro showroom at Toy Fair. Uh-huh. But... You know, surprisingly, it costs a lot to get from Maine to New York. Yeah. You wouldn't for, think it would. For a one-day trip, <laughs> and we're like, mm-hmm. We really want to go and do a video like we did last year, especially on the pony stuff. But then on the other hand, it's, 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 it costs a little bit. And we were, we were already not expecting the invite this year because right. our channel doesn't cut it to get into normal Toy Fair. Mm -hmm. Hasbro has a showroom 
they're totally separate. Right. They, they don't they don't follow really the toy fair rules. So, but and you but, can and you can only get in there by appointment or invitation only. Right. And we got invited again. They also offered to send us a box of new product, like which for the we spring. will definitely say we will, yes we to. We will <laughs> accept that. But I'm debating: should we go and spend the money for a one day trip, mm -hmm. or should we, you know, all the all the images? Are going to be online. We were thinking of like doing a live stream, maybe open this box of stuff they're going to send and you know do a live stream talk with you as we are looking at this stuff online with you guys like on you now and YouTube. What do you guys think we should do? I don't know. I don't you know. Got, give us some give us some uh, advice guys. So thoughts on Triple X. I don't think I'd ever seen any Triple X movie before. It was very fast and the furious like yeah. the, all the nonstop action and the cuts. And it's like I have to rub my eyes once in a while. Like, and we, we were not sitting that close no. to the screen. One time we went to see a Fast and the Furious movie in IMAX and mm -hmm. we sat like dead center. And my head, it felt like it's splitting in two. It hurt. It hurt. We had to move. <laughs> yeah, I had to move off center because we were like looking dead mm -hmm. at the screen in the middle of the theater, and it felt like my head was literally like an axe had just gone through my head. Yeah, it, it was. I was. Pleasant. I was miserable. Mm -hmm. But um, I thought the movie was pretty fun. Super violent. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not for kids. No, it's definitely an R movie. Or a hard PG thirteen. I don't know. How I don't they, know what they. I don't know what it was rated. I don't either. But, but there was some language. There were some adult themes. Tons and tons and tons <laughs> of violence. And a lot of violence, obviously. It wasn't like gory. It was no, just like, like it was a lot of fighting, yeah. shooting, that kind of thing. But it was it was pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. And you know, Ben knows more about the the universe of Triple X than I do. Were, was the little ragtag group of Vin Diesel's team from the previous movies, or were they new? I don't know. You're a little rusty. I don't think I ever saw the second one with Ice Cube because I knew it came out and I wanted to see it, but then I was like, it's probably not going to be very good because it's not doesn't have Vin Diesel in it. It's like one of those sequels where they couldn't get the main character by guy back. And that, you now know? you're going to have to watch it. Now I have to go back and watch because it. Because without spoiling anything, they kind of tied that one into this one as well. But Samuel L. Jackson in the first one? Yes. He's the one who started the whole thing. I was happy to see that he was back. There was even a couple winks to Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, there was. It not, was funny. Not, even, and they it weren't was even, subtle. It was subtle. I was going to say they weren't even that subtle. They even. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it was subtle. <laughs> they, I think they made it pretty obvious. <laughs> you should name this vlog, Bin Loves Vin. <laughs> I'm torn. Do I name the vlog after the movie or about my sweatshirt? Today was a good day for me. <laughs> <laughs> Bin my movies and my sweatshirts. Bin Loves Vin and her new sweatshirt. <laughs> There's the title right there. We brainstormed it. It was a Bin day today. <laughs> Tegan is going to be so exhausted when he gets mm -hmm. home. Yep. And stay tuned this weekend. We're hoping to go live. Well, we hope to have gone live on Friday night. And we're hoping to go live sometime tomorrow during the day. And maybe on Sunday, too. I don't know if Jenna and Ryan are coming over. It'd be fun to do a live What's Ryan Trying. Like, like Giant Jenga or something live. That would be fun. We'll have to we'll have to pitch it. So stay tuned to that. Um, you can look for notifications on all the social medias. Mm -hmm. And you can follow us on younow.com slash Bin's Toy Bin. Yep. You can become a fan of us there and you'll get the notifications ASAP. Right. YouTube takes a little bit. All right, guys. Lots of... <laughs>